Welcome back. It is the second day of the SEO Foreign Minister's Meet in Goa. It's later to begin shortly at 10 a.m. Now, External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar held several bilateral meetings yesterday with the foreign ministers of Russia, China and Uzbekistan. The issues of regional connectivity and common prosperity are on the agenda of the second day of the SEO meeting. Now, today's meeting will also lay the ground for summit-level talks that are scheduled for the 3rd and 4th of July. Now, remember, this is going to be getting just a short, in just a short while from now. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's Anand Narasimhan, who's joining us live from Goa. Uh, Anand, you've been tracking the developments that have been taking place. Could you take us through what took place yesterday when it comes to all of the bilateral meetings? Morning to all our viewers and good morning, Aisha. Yes, uh, this is the second day technically, but officially this is actually just the first day. This is the only day of the SEO summit where the multilateral level conversations and talks would happen and it is scheduled to begin at 10.15 a.m. Just in about five or seven minutes, we should have uh, pictures flowing in of all the visiting foreign ministers who are member or who are part of the member nations of the SEO. They will be coming, the observer nations, their representatives and their foreign ministers, they will all come. They're all staying at the same place, that's Taj Exotica in Goa, which is the venue for this place. But they will come to the main venue. There will be a photo op that would be uh, conducted between 10 a.m. and 10.10 10 a.m. And by 10.15, all the leaders will settle. And from 10.15 till about 11.45, 11.50 is when, as per the schedule, the meeting will continue. So it's a 90-minute long conversation uh, between all the guests who are present, uh, the foreign ministers. Thereafter, there will be a little bit of a recess, a one-hour gap after which there is a working lunch from 12.30 to 1.30. And then the leaders meet again at 3 p.m. to sign the joint declaration. So this two-hour window in between could be for some important pull-asides and also going through the final draft. Each nation will have to go through, vet each paragraph. And, and uh, on the 15-point agenda, there has to be a consensus drawn that this would be the main agenda of the SEO summit-level talks in July 3rd and 4th. All nations, foreign ministers have to sign on it. So that, signatory, uh, that signature uh, exercise will happen between 3 p.m and 4 p.m. and by about uh, 4.30 it should all come to a close and by 5 p.m. the leaders will all leave today. They will leave Goa for their respective nations or their further onward commitments. But uh, when you ask me as to what happened on uh, Thursday, that was the uh, build-up or the uh, to, to this a multilateral meeting that's going to happen, this 90-minute meeting. Yes, Foreign Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar did have multiple bilaterals. Uh, there were one-on-ones with Russia, there were one-on-ones with uh, China, there was one-on-ones with the Uzbeks and the Kazakhs and Kazakhstan. So these, uh, these are important conversations that were had. Uh, and largely with, with respect to Russia, it was clearly uh, the fact that both nations will work towards a multipolar uh, kind of a conversation and geopolitical equations going forward, a multipolar world, which uh, prior, which Dr. Jaishankar has been speaking about for quite some time now, that uh, there is multilateralism and also a multipolar world is what we need to look at. It cannot be polarized between the, the Western hegemony and the East or uh, the erstwhile uh, socialist bloc. So this these aspects were taught, spoken about and India and Russia have... Uh, endeavor to cooperate more actively, more strongly at multiple levels. China is a point of concern that conflict and cooperation cannot work hand in hand. China wants to set aside the Galwan conflict and the standoff at, along the LSE and the border issue saying keep set that aside because that suits the Chinese narrative and let's talk about trade, let's talk about other things. India is saying no, you do this every time. No, you got to sort this out before you really under and state your position very clearly. How do you see India and where do you see India in this entire mix? Because mm. India is a strong player and you cannot ignore us as a nation and also as a as no, that's a populous nation, an active market, a young, vibrant nation. And uh, China looks at trying to use India as its own uh, backyard to downstream a lot of the Chinese industries because there's a strong labor force here and use India to create and build its own hegemony. That's what Chinese approach is. India is challenging that approach, saying that, no, we are not going to tolerate that and we're going to keep coming in and we're going to keep coming, pushing and asking you to recalibrate your entire approach altogether. Will the Chinese do that? That's a big question. When it comes to Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, these nations, Central Asian nations, uh, are find themselves landlocked and also uh, leaning to towards Russia and China. India is going there as a friend and also looking at avenues where traditionally the Russians and the Chinese don't interact with them on that. So the India's approach is not to exploit but to collaborate. 
India's approach is that you give us something what we need and we'll help you gain expertise on other areas where we have now shown excellence. Absolutely. Be it digitalization, be it startups, be it traditional medicine. These are aspects where India is telling these nations, we will help you guys. We are coming there to play big brother, not, not, not a bully, but a big brother who's wanting to nurture, care and ensure mm -hmm. all nations in this region grow uh, equ equanimously. Absolutely. So that's the whole approach that India is taking and that's why out of the 15 point agenda, India is taking the lead in startup and innovation and also in traditional medicine. Very important points that you're bringing us, Anand. We'll continue to return to you for more updates because, again, the second day is just slated to begin in a few minutes from now. With this, we end this bulletin, but stay tuned for the latest updates and developments on the biggest stories of the day. Thank you for watching.